do you sort of think, my good, like these people have no idea what they're talking about because that is such an expansive term. It can't really, it's, it's political convenience is precisely, it doesn't mean anything. It, it does frustrate, frustrate me a little bit. I, so I often use the analogy that AI is like the word transportation. I mean, if transportation ref can refer to bicycles or rockets or self-driving cars or gas guzzling trucks, you know, like they're all different modes of transportation, serve different purposes, different cost benefit analyses. And you would never have a politician say, we need more transportation to mitigate climate change. You would be like, but what kind of transport? Yeah. Like, I mean, what are Trump you talking right. about? Well, yeah. <laughs> we need more transportation to stimulate the economy. I mean, maybe in that case, it's like, it's just, yeah, like there is a vagueness around the AI discussion that is really unproductive. And I think a lot of that leads to confusion where people think AI equals one thing and AI equals progress. And so we should just have all of it. But actually, if we were to use the transportation analogy, you know, like having more bicycles, having more public transit sounds great. But if someone were actually referring to just like using rockets to commute from, you know, <laughs> um, Dublin to, to London, and we were like, everyone should get a rocket now, like that's going to bring us more progress. You would be like, what are you talking about? And that's effectively what these companies are doing with which artificial is, which, general intelligence. When you're giving people tools for free, with regards to generative AI to just generate stupid images of nonsense. That's kind of what we're doing, right? I, pre I presume you would take that analogy to that level. It's like saying, let's use a rocket to get from Dublin to London to Paris. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not fit for the task. Um, and the, um, the extraordinary amount of environmental costs for flying that rocket when you could have flown a much more efficient plane to do the same thing is like, what are you doing? You know? Um, and that's some, one of the things that people don't really realize about artificial or a, about generative AI is that the resource consumption required to develop these models and also use these models is quite extraordinary. And oftentimes people are using them for tasks that could be achieved with highly efficient different AI techniques. And you're but because we use the sweeping term AI to mean anything, then people just think, oh, yeah, right, right. I'm just going to use ChatGPT for my one-stop mm. shop solution for anything AI related. So right now, data centers globally, I think, are about 3 3.5% of CO2 emissions. 